And new at 5, 7 News uncovering new information about a fatal head-on crash involving a school bus in Teller County. Investigators say the driver of a pickup was killed and seven bus passengers, some of them high schoolers, were taken to a hospital. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez asking questions about the driver of the pickup. And Lance State Troopers say the pickup crossed over into the other lane and slammed head-on into the bus. Two passengers on that bus, most of them students, a few counselors. Now, they were westbound on Highway 24 near Florissant when they were hit by that pickup. Investigators still trying to determine why that pickup crossed over into the wrong lane. The need to respond to the area of Highway 24 heading towards Florissant for a traffic accident reporting a bus is involved. The driver of the pickup perished. What was supposed to be a day of fun turned into a day of sadness and grief for 52 students and counselors who were on this bus. They were on their way to Buena Vista for a rafting trip on the Arkansas, but that trip ended abruptly when a Ford pickup crossed into their lane and slammed into the bus on Highway 24 just east of Florissant. Uh, Any idea why that pickup crossed over? Uh, we don't know, and obviously there will be some toxicology reports and things like that to come, but uh, as of right now, we don't know. The bus passengers are uh, students from all across the country attending a two-week leadership training conference at Summit Ministries in Manitou Springs. Today's trip was a short extracurricular break. Seven of those those students were hospitalized with scrapes, bumps, and bruises. The president of Summit Ministries telling 7 News that emotionally and physically the students are doing okay. He says they're all thinking about the pickup driver's family. I think our students were more upset uh, about his death than they were about their, their own having been in a crash. Now, Dr. Meyer says that as bad as this accident was, it could have been worse. The head of Summit Ministries told me it's clear the Lord had his hand on those children. He said those who were injured are recovering. Lance Hernandez, 7 News.